and welcome back to the 30th video here on my YouTube channel. This week is only a short update again uh, because uh, we had a bank holiday on last Thursday so we had a very long weekend. Uh, I spent it with the family and the family didn't want to uh, be filmed so I didn't do very much uh, in terms of filming last week um, but something very very scary happened. Um, I got an email from someone that I don't know uh, who told me that he has a tablet of mine and uh, he wanted me to give him his password. Um, quite no, of course, but uh, I offered to uh, pay him back uh, to, to buy the tablet off him and uh, he graciously agreed. So uh, I've explained you all the details. Uh, let's get on the train and go to Duisburg to get the device back. This goes back quite some time. Um, I checked my papers and I got the Elite Pad, um, which is the device in question, in 2012. It was one of the first Windows tablets that we made at that point in time. Um, it was called the full name was the HP Elite Pad uh, 900, uh, and it was running Windows 8, and later got an upgrade to Windows 8.1. Um, I had it probably a one or two years, and I was mainly using it as a um, as a phone. I was using the device mainly as a phone for Lunk, uh, as it was called at that point, which uh, then later became Skype for Business. It wasn't actually pretty good. Uh, it was useful, um, used it with a uh, hands-free device, uh, so that I had a kind of an offline uh, Lunk phone that was separate from, from my day-to-day -day computer. Um, but I discontinued that. I guess in uh, 2014, probably around 2014, maybe early 2015, uh, and then had the device, uh, I thought I had the device uh, properly uh, recycled. Quite obviously, as I've learned now, that was not the case, and somehow from the company that I actually paid to recycle the device. Um, this uh, little tablet ended on a flea market in uh, in Duisburg. Um, the person who bought it was very kind, very nice. Um, so we met outside the uh, train station, and here it is: the HP Elite Pad 900 which kind of uh, came back uh, into my possession now for the second time. Uh, and it's uh, the third time that I'm paying for it. What can I say? I'm very, very happy uh, that even at that point in time, my password was strong enough so that it withstood uh, it, the, uh, the person who bought it or maybe People had it in possession before, so but it appears uncracked. Um, so quite happy uh, that nothing, actually, no damage was done, no harm was done. Um, so I will, however, go back to the recycling company and uh, show them the device and and ask them how they can explain that it ended up on a flea market. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's all for today. Long story. I was pretty scared when I first uh, saw the photo of the login screen uh, with my password and my my email address. And uh, yeah, but everything turns out well. I'm very very happy, very grateful for the person that he uh, agreed to return the device. So yes, um, all in all. Uh, Scary story turned good, and uh, we're almost back home. And uh, maybe I should get an ice cream. I 
I hope you did enjoy uh, the short trip to Duisburg, and uh, thanks a lot for watching. If you did like the voice video, uh, please do leave a like, uh, comment, and subscribe. Um, next week uh, will be a bit more interesting. Uh, we'll be going out to Sheffield in the UK to visit a friend, and I hope to uh, take you along and uh, have uh, some great footage to show you afterwards. All the links to our social media are down in the video description, and uh, hope to see you in the next one. Thanks.